what's up guys? It's Baina from Baina.com and for today's video we're going to talk about short curtains and how to make them look cool. Now if you watch any of my previous videos you're probably going to remember that I gave the advice of always use tall curtains at least 96 inches high and hang them as high as you can. That is sound advice and I stand behind it. However, for every rule there's definitely an exception and behind me i have a bay window which is a great feature lets a lot of light in and i have a relatively good view i have the drapes floor to ceiling in this space and as spring and summer hit i just felt like it was a lot of fabric and i just wanted a lighter feeling but i didn't want to lose the contrast so i simply tied up the window treatments one day um, I think I was like mopping or cleaning the floors and I just ended up loving the look. The coolest thing about the tie-up look is that it instantly makes things feel casual and cool. Which for me is actually important too because I like a little bit more formality in my choices of furniture. So making sure that I balance that formal vibe with like a relaxed kind of application, really important to creating the vibe I want at home, which is not uptight. So let's talk a little bit about where short curtains are appropriate in your home. They're definitely appropriate for spaces where you have like a radiator or something built in underneath your window, or if you just have furniture that you have to place under your window because of your layout of your room. A kind of a cool idea to use short curtains in kids' rooms, that's probably one of the most common places that I see short curtains used well. It's also really great for spaces where you don't want a lot of fabric like the bathroom or the kitchen, even the dining room because there's food involved, there's water, there's like oils cooking and stuff like that. I kind of want to just go through some great examples of some short curtains that I think look so chic and I'm going to show you a couple that I think look not so great just so you can kind of see the difference. First example is just absolutely so charming. It's kind of like a vintage industrial look. I think because the window's actually kind of on the small side, a pair of drapes might have looked a little bit overwhelming on that space. Uh, one of the things that the room has going for it is that it already has the shiplap on the wall. It's an added architectural feature that's already bringing the eye up. I love how simple the space is and then having this like delicate bronze hardware with rings. It looks really, really chic. Okay, so this is like kind of a rustic, elegant, loose, just gorgeous living room that I would love to hang out and spend time in. And obviously it's a very small space, so they're limited with where they had to place a sofa and it has to go in front of the windows. In this space, they could have gone for Roman shades, but I think it would have been a little bit too formal. The style of this space is relaxed, it feels easy. So you want your drapery choice to also mirror that ease. They have cut the curtains right above the pillow height and the fabric is very similar. It makes the eye treated as one continuous space and it looks super chic and it's very functional. Another example of where they have tons of windows in the bedroom and again, it's the perfect solution because do you really want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Roman shades in the room. No, that's ridiculous. It's too much. It's too expensive and it's too many elements. So in order to unify all of those windows, if it looks that looks more strong. All the multiples balance, this balances that, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, and they look super easy. Again, super functional and like you literally could actually make this yourself possibly. If you were like really on a budget, didn't want to do anything custom, you could go to Ikea and get their white, their gr grommet style drapery and then you could take it to the dry cleaner and have them cut it and hem it, sew it obviously. Short curtains are also really nice because sometimes you just need the privacy on the lower part of the window so that people don't look directly into your, where you're living. Also, I've noticed in some of these examples, um, they're not placing the drapes directly in the center of the window. Splitting in half doesn't always necessarily look good. Sometimes you want a little bit more space on the bottom part. Now, the one thing I noticed in all of the window treatments that I really liked is that they are hanging them on thinner rods. So I typically never use really fat rods with my regular drapes. I'll go for the three quarter inch um, diameter rod. And I think for these shorter curtains, I like going even smaller than that, like a half an inch, something like that. Making the rod delicate proportionally works with the height of the curtain. Okay, these little 63 inch curtain panels 
I don't think they're that effective right now in this picture. They don't look that chic or cute. How you could make them look chicer or cuter is using a different hardware. This is a perfect example. That hardware looks a little bit too chunky. And so I think if you went with something a little bit thinner in the diameter, it could be a French return, which just like kind of returns into the wall or something just a little bit more delicate like the examples that I've shown today. So if you guys like this video, please hit subscribe. Please definitely like the video. And let me know in the comments below, do you have short curtains? Would you use short curtains? And don't forget to take my style quiz, which is a great free first start to knowing what your interior decorating style is. Okay, talk to you later. Bye!